Welcome to World Breaker Coup's Reviews. I'm your host, World Breaker Coup. And today we are having a rare rematch of Versus series. Juggernaut versus Juggernaut. This is a rematch because the previous Juggernaut won over the last Juggernaut right here. Um, this is the Select version. This is the Marvel Legends version. So now we're going to go over the categories. The categories for this review are articulation, price, sculpt slash paint apps, fun factor, and accessories. When I did this review previously, way back when, over two years ago, I only had three categories, which was values, um, value slash price, articulation, and fun factor. Now things have changed a bit because, well, let's just be honest, okay? Um, I've been reviewing and doing figures for quite much longer now. So, uh, with that said, let's jump right into this bad boy and get into the elephant in the room. Um, articulation. The Build-A-Figure, or two-pack version, the nicely new and improved version, has the same articulation as before, okay? So nothing really new here as far as articulation goes, but he can balance on one leg and get some nice little, you know, positions and movements that good old select version just can't do. You can't balance the select like this on one leg. You just can't do it. You can't. Um, select this, when it comes to articulation, this baby was not meant for articulation. He was meant for one thing and one thing only. That's looking good, okay? And here's the best he can do. We're not even gonna do it because he hits like a ton of bricks. So we're gonna go with a no and go with the legends for articulation, okay? Um, easy category there. Next, we have the price. Uh, as of today, uh, Juggernaut has went up slightly to $29.99, although you can't, you used to be able to get them for $25, so I'm sure in some places you still can. Um, while the Marvel Legends uh, Juggernaut comes in a two-pack with Colossus and ranges anywhere from $59.99 to $65. Uh, lower than the build figure that price that he used to have, but still uh, increasingly more. So that point goes to the select version, which is a tie so far. Next is the paint apps. Okay, look at that. Very clean. Looks nice. Looks good. Very straight lines. I like the scope. It looks good. The head looks awesome, right? I mean, there is nothing wrong with this figure at all as far as the scope. And paint apps. It fits in the Marvel Legends brand quite nicely. But when we look at our friend over here, the Select, uh, folks, it's another whole ball game. He's got some, you know, different tones of skin complexion, different browns here. Uh, his, you know, bracelets and has scratches and different colors of copper and brown and rust, dirt and grime. Um, the helmet has scratched, the details on the back. This is a work of art. Select destroys the Marvel Legends in this category. So, so far, the Select is up, okay? Now for the fun factor, okay? This one is slightly harder, okay? Because this is a great juggernaut. He looks great on the shelf. He looks great in a standard position. Um, you can kind of move around in position to have some fun with him, but he's not doing anything really dynamic except for looking imposing. This guy, you can get him in some quite a few different positions and different uh, modes. Um, and because of the accessories, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, he has quite a bit more value, uh, especially for taking pictures, um, doing the reviews, all types of fun stuff, playing with the figure if you have some kids. Okay. So the fun factor uh, goes to Marvel Legends. Um, last but not least now is the category of the accessories. Okay. Um, Marvel Select comes with what he sees. He's a big guy. He's heavy as hell. Um, he doesn't come with anything else but his nice looking self. The Legends now, which he did not have before, has a busted cap or head, helmet. He has an extra head that he didn't have before, which looks pretty good on there. And you can put that on the head, so that way you have a juggy with the helmet on. And he also has an extra fist and another pair of graspy hands. Uh, 
So in accessories department, they literally give you everything you could want in, uh, on good old Juggy, okay? So for that alone means that he's going to grab the win for the accessories, therefore grabbing the win for a 3-2 uh, two victory over the Marvel Select Juggernaut, okay? So as far as my category goes, he is the better juggernaut. However, my favorite juggernaut between besides, between these two is still the select because we have what we like and what we like. Okay, but it's doing looking at these two as far as what they come with uh, for each and those different categories. I have to give it to the legends. So select is my favorite all, overall juggernaut, but the legends is, in my opinion, probably the better. Uh, figure because of the accessories and this is only the first the second version the first version was nice but it doesn't have as many accessories and the accessories was what put it over the edge for me as far as accessories and the fun factor without that then select would have been killing it again so thanks for watching until next time peace and juggernaut grease